Uh, I'm Julian Ehrlich and I play drums and sing and write songs for a band called Whitney. Of this record store? Any. Of a record store. Well, I played here like five years ago with my old band called Unknown Mortal Orchestra. And I don't know. That could have been one of the first times that I came to a record store. I was like 19 and I grew up in like a kind of like middle of nowhere, like middle of the forest type place. Uh, but yeah, there's also, I know I went to Mississippi Records in Portland, Oregon. I don't know if you know, that's like a world renowned spot, but yeah. Uh, like outside Oregon in a place called like New, or outside Portland in a place called Newburgh, Oregon. Yeah. The first one that was given to me, or bought for me by my dad, was a band called Striper, which is like a, they were like a hair metal, like a Christian hair metal band. And I don't remember any of the songs, but yeah, that was like one of my first albums, I think. I, got uh, I just, I know it's like kind of like infinitely replayable. Um, as opposed to like a lot of records like like maybe like a Kendrick Lamar, like all of his records are like so long and like so like packed with like information and like syllables. Uh, and his his records are like fucking amazing, but it's just I'd say it's like the opposite, but like a good opposite of a record like that. That's like so much to digest. This one like leaves you wanting more and more. Ooh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, a lot of that is Max. Like I would bring more of like the lyrical content, and like that it's like quite depressing. Um, but yeah, Max does like a good job at like combating that, like not letting the songs get like completely sad sack. Um, yeah, he just brings like really hopeful like instrumentals to the to the lyrics and melodies. But I think my melodies are all, like aren't really that sad either. But. So don't you feel you just gotta, you gotta like deal with it. <laughs> you gotta take, I guess like it's therapy to write about it. And like, you know, if you make stuff or like make paintings or, you know, do your thing and like explore your creative side probably. But yeah, there's no way to like stop the pain immediately. <laughs> that was done over like several tours. Man, the tour, yeah, the tours have been amazing. And like, last night in Manchester, for the first time, like, the crowd was singing uh, one of our songs so loud that like, I just stopped singing and they just sang it for me. And like, I've, that's never had, that's like some shit that you see on like, Palladium or whatever, like Glastonbury, like, the headliners will do that. Uh, it was no woman, yeah. Yeah, hopefully, I, th I feel like people are, too, like this is too cool of a place for people to do that. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. No one like dances or sings here. So. Yeah, but you know, I can get down. I I act like that. I, was around, I, see you alone. I lay in bed and like catch up on sleep. But uh, yeah, what have I been watching lately? Uh, I've like rewatched Parks and Rec a few times. I'm I'm really into like teen dramas though. Actually, like Friday Night Lights. One Tree Hill, uh, and like rom-coms, like what's the Love Actually, the one that takes place here. I rewatch that every year. That that movie is like like our album, it's like infinitely rewatchable. You really, yeah, it's just like totally makes your heart feel like it's about to explode every time. I know it's so great. Yeah. What do you look for in a rom-com? Hugh Grant. <laughs> I've watched like all of the Hugh Grant ones, like the Four Weddings and a Funeral is like super tight. Uh, have you seen About Time? I think so. Oh my God. I think I have. Yeah. Oh, I get pretty freaked out by spiders. And lately, oh, this is bad. A couple of our band members got like ticks while we were running around like Mississippi, like the South. Uh, like found, like our sound guy found a tick in his head. <laughs> and I've been super freaking out about that. Can you get it out? Yeah, yeah. We like plucked it out. And sometimes you're supposed to like burn them if they're really deep in, but 
Yeah, that. Because the head gets trapped inside. Yeah, that's some real stuff. That's freaky.